Hello, guys and gals. And, um... Hope I don't get in trouble for this. But, anyways. So, I was over at Dollar General, and they had these Halloween movies out. Until I see this movie called Evil Bong. And I knew it existed because I'd been watching, you know, Watch Mojo or something, you know, where they had, like, the weirdest movies out there, you know, or something like that. And, um, of course, you know that Charles Band's movies are going to appear, you know, on those lists. But I was especially interested in Evil Bong. Now, um, it, it's Evil Bong with Charlie Chong, with Tommy Chong, rather. Um, so, uh, you know, that kind of that kind of rhymes, you know, that's kind of neat. But anyways, um, so, yeah, I, I bought it. Uh, it was like three dollars or something. So, yeah. Um, I noticed that a lot of my movies I really like are by Charles Band because I kind of like his style of movies. I wouldn't even go as far as to say that Char that Charles Band's movies are B movies because those are usually that's a title usually reserved for bad movies. You know, like movies that are like really terrible. But Charles Band movies are usually really really good. In that there is a lot of love put into the production. Um, they made um, the Puppet Master series, uh, the, Puppet Ma the Puppet Master franchise, and I think there's like 12 of those. And you might be surprised to know there's like nine, there's at least eight Evil Bong movies and maybe a ninth. I don't know. How they keep coming up with this stuff, I don't know, but it's kind of cool. Um, usually I probably wouldn't give too much support to a movie that would, that probably... Well, that would probably um, promote drug use. But um, it's kind of a silly movie, and it's meant to be silly. I don't think it's meant to be taken seriously. Anyways, um, let's start. We're not going to start off with the story. We're going to start off with um, the rating. Uh, I don't know what this is rated, actually. It might be unrated. It might be rated R. I don't know. Um, basically all the violence in this movie is like cartoony, you know, it's not to be taken seriously. I don't think, um, basically inside the bong, inside a bong world or whatever it is, um, there are strippers that are topless. You know, you don't ever see anything, you know, below the waist. Um, they're always dressed, you know, below the waist. Um, but you do see, um, there are, there are strippers. Um, pole dancing, strippers, um, stuff like that. Um, there's also these really weird bras that um, basically kill you, which is kind of really weird, really, really weird. Um, this goes back to um, when Charles Band tried to market a line of bras called Monster Bras or something that were kind of strange but kind of cool you know i don't think that they that really went over really well but it was kind of an, a neat idea i guess at the time um so anyways let me just make sure this is still working okay um so anyways there is there is some nudity in there and the people do make out you know and stuff like that but um basically it's basically limited to strippers and pole dancers that are topless and, um, which is, um, in my book anyways, would be considered very mild in terms of sexuality. Um, there's, a, there's of course the drug, the drug use. Um, there are people there that, you know, whether real joints or not, I don't know, but you see some of these college guys smoking a joint and then later they decide to get this haunted bong from, um, high times, which I guess is, um, some kind of drug magazine. I don't know. Um, I'm not familiar with the culture from 2009 or whenever this was made. But anyways, um, yeah, this also has Tommy Chong in it. And um, and as my dad said, you know, when he said, oh, yeah, that's Tommy Chong. He's a stoner from way back. So, yeah, Tommy Chong is basically known for that. Anyways, basically, um, Let's go over the story right now because we've gone over some of the more sensitive stuff, the sensitive stuff. So we have Evil Bong and the, the Evil Bong has a name. It's E.B. Not to be confused with the Pokemon E.V. It's E.B. as in E-E-B-E-E -E 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 or something like that. As in Evil Bong. E.B. Evil Bong. Um, anyways, it is a talking bong also. But I think you probably have to be high in order to hear it. But I'm not exactly sure on that. Anyways, this starts with um, this one guy he's kind of a nerd actually which is perfectly fine um 
trying to, you know, rent a room, you know, at the local dormitory, or I think it's a dormitory. Anyways. And um, so finally, you know, with him paying his uh, his rent, then they have enough to buy this this bong that is supposedly haunted. And um, so they do. Anyways, uh, doesn't take long for the bong to arrive. Um, there are several different guys that are living in this room and um, they like to get high, except for the, you know, the guy with the glasses. He doesn't really get high because he's trying to work on his grades. And um, I can respect that. Anyways, um, they also like to drink and stuff like that, you know, college stuff. But anyways, um, eventually, um, one of them, they, they all, you know, take a hit from the bong, except for, um, except for, you know, the guy with the glasses. He, um, he doesn't, you know, partake. Anyways, one of the guys, you know, he does way too much weed, you know, and um, so anyways, this wakes up the bong and it sucks his soul into, into bong world. And um, I forget how he died, but he died some way or another. Um, and um, when you die in Bong World, then you die in real life. You know, so it's, in that case, it's kind of like the Freddy Krueger movies, you know. So anyways, um, the next morning they realize that the guy is dead. And so they like hide him so that, you know, they're, they're having a party later. So they don't want anyone to find him because, uh, you know they've got all the drug paraphernalia around and so they don't want the cops to, you know, come in or anything like that. So, um, eventually, um, they find out that, you know, the bong is haunted, you know? And, um, so yeah, plus, um, other full moon features creations are in bong world too, where they make cameos. Like, um, one of the, the toys from demonic toys is in there and, the one of the guys from Trancers is in there and yeah i mean there's all of these um different little references in there that 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 are a real treat um but yeah eventually tommy chong shows up and he's like oh yeah that's my bong so uh basically the bong killed all of his friends and um so he ends up uh, you know helping you know the college guys you know helping the college guys out and his name is Jimbo, which is cool. Anyways, let's see. How long has this been? Okay. <laughs> so yeah, um, I, th I forget what the, um, I forget what the inspiration for this was. I think that they were, they were probably just talking about bongs and decided to say, Hey, well, what if there was a bong that was evil or something like that? Or that the more you smoked, the stronger it got or something like that. But anyways, the movie is very, very silly. It's very campy. Very, very silly. Um, you know, standard fare for Charles Band. Um, and don't get me wrong, Charles Band has some really good movies out there. Um, yeah, and I stand by that. I, I really like the, Pep the Puppet Master series. I think the Puppet Master franchise was really good. I like the Trancers franchise. I thought that was really good as well. Um, very solid. The movie was very well paced, I thought. I didn't find myself getting bored or anything. And um, there were these really weird, um, very weird um, transition scenes, you, you know, usually with a pot leaf or something like that. Um, and that was just like scene transitions. Very, very cool. Or a weed plant, you know, spinning around and stuff like that. Really, really ingenuitive. Um, yeah. So, honestly, this movie was worth a watch. Um, it, it was super funny. I mean, I don't think that anything in it could actually be taken seriously. I don't really think they were promoting drug use or anything like that. It was just a bunch of people, you know, and an evil bong. Anyways, um, hmm. it was a very silly movie, and I'm glad I watched it. Um, yeah. So, anyways, um, it's always nice to see Tommy Chong and stuff, you know, in movies. Um, and, uh, anyways, hmm. 
yeah. I did have some questions that I won't put here because they're spoilers. Um, basically about, you know, how bong world works and stuff like that. Um, like if we set up the, the scenario where someone came back from bong world, um, but their body was like already buried or something, if they'd come back to life or something, I don't know. I'm not sure if the future, um, evil bong movies discuss this or not, or what the continuity is. And maybe I'm just thinking too much into a silver uh, into a silly movie but um i really like this movie and it's one that you should probably check out um it's a very very funny movie um i thought the characters were very well fleshed out um they kind of had their own stereotypes you know um the straight laced um guy with glasses you know um the jock there's a jock there that Basically, they did a, a urine test and found that he was high on weed. So he got cut from the team, even though he's really good at like. Bass baseball, I think it was baseball. I don't know. And then there was like the, the traditional stoner who is, you know, always high. And then there was somebody else. And so, yeah, anyways, I thought this was a really good movie. Um, long story short, it's a movie I would highly recommend you check out if you can find it. Um very very silly can't i didn't really find it very scary it was just i thought really really funny and um remarkably well made for some for a movie about an evil bong i just thought it was pretty cool but anyways um with all that being said um if you like this content make sure to like and subscribe ring the bell so you know when i upload also if you want to support me in any way or if you want to join the discord server all the information will be in the description below and as always thanks for watching everyone you are loved and have a great day